you're having no. an extra time with somebody. Hey, is that what they enjoy? Exactly. I used to work with you uh, people that not were at Delta for that. One of my other jobs, I used to work there when I had my other car. Why'd you stick it? Why'd you, why'd you put that on? I said, like, oh. Well, you know you're not going to get that. I said, that's kind of a waste of money. I said, no, that's no. what I like. Well, I that said, it's not a waste of money. I said, I don't care. I don't plan on getting the money back out of it. No, that. that was like. I don't a, care. Well, a well, here's the deal. Let's go look at this car real quick, Dan. I just want to see this one real quick. Here's the deal, Dan. When I had my 83, Fox body, okay. And anyways, I had an 83 and they had those 14-inch rims on it. The guy from work bought a brand new 87 and it had the turbine wheels were 15s, okay. Yeah, real nice red lines, side winders on it. Pretty good, pretty nice paint. Seats might have been redone, but whew. Anyways. Aftermarket wheels usually never bring you a dime, okay? Oh, no. Yeah. That, those are just something you give away when you get rid of the car. Yep. Well, you know what the ASC McLaren Mustang had? The rims are like a, a mesh, a high-polished mesh with a gray back on them. They, they, yeah. kind of, they weren't like Trans Am wheels. They were like, a, like they're shiny silver, but they're a mesh. And mesh was back in the... In the 80s, mesh was a big deal. That's why the Trans Am came factory with mesh. Well, I bought that 83. It had 30,000 miles on it. But it looked dated somewhat. So I put those AFC McLaren wheels that you would see on like a 79, 80. Or no, 80, uh, late 80s, early 90s. It cost me $800 for the... Eight hundred or a thousand dollars for the wheels and tires from discount tire. Think about it. I was making like three bucks an hour. Think about how much that was out of your budget. Yeah. And I mean, I spent a thousand dollars right after. Uh, out of a wagon. You know, a thousand dollars after I uh, just got done spending six thousand for the car. I overpaid for the car, but original owner, no a summer car. It had. 30,000 and he had it for six years. So you, you know that's a summer only car. Mm -hmm. Oh, I put those wheels on it. Well, I, I had somebody say to me, why'd you put those wheels on? You're not gonna get nothing for it. I put them on this as soon as I got it because I wanted the bigger profile wheel yep. and tire. And those, those the, the wheels I had on it factory were more looking like, uh, you, you do it for looks. They, they looked like they were on a, uh, Fairmont. They're Fairmont wheels. Oh. They weren't the nice ones. Not like the, the Tri, the Michelin. Yep. They weren't the Michelin wheels, which if they were that, I would have left them. But they were like the 14 inch Fairmont wheels. And it's like, nah, they didn't cut it, you know. <laughs> and then I ended up after paying almost $1,000 for it. When I sold the car, I got 200 bucks for the wheels and tires. And they had only had like 15,000 miles on it. The rims were like brand new. Oh, no. Tires alone, probably 12, 14 on the box. So, where do you want to go? Inside the thing then? Well, yeah, let's get in there. And I think we're getting close to seeing just about everything. Yeah. Matter of fact, I know that I get prices on my truck. I'm going to cut right through here. I'm putting wheels on that. I want more aggressive. Oh, do you? On your new Silverado? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're right around 250 or 275 a piece. Wow. Run. Yeah. Just, uh, wow. They're expensive. Oh, yeah. You ever think about seeing that? Like on, I know on, I don't get on Craigslist, and I'm not on Facebook, but they have takeoffs. You know where they uh, brand new wheel takeoffs. Oh yeah. You know. And they usually have not giveaway, but better than you would buy from like a tire store. You know, some private owner has them. I always wonder, are they stolen? Yeah. <laughs> you know, brand new Silverado wheels and tires for a thousand dollars. You wonder, are they stolen? The only thing, the other thing I want to do is see what the dates are on. Oh yeah, they have born on dating, don't they? Yeah, because sometimes they could look like brand new, but they're ten years old. Yeah. Like, well, sorry, but the tires not worth anything because nobody will work on it. No, they won't. Nope. You get a flat at discount yep. tire, they, they won't touch they it. Will not touch it. No. Now let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Whew. 
man. There's that guy's card from Bay City. He's in all the shows. That's about as nice a deuce you're gonna get right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? I see this bad boy. I like that Betty Boop on there. Yeah. 42. Southgate. Oh, that's all right. Is this yours? Yes, sir. Can I quickly film it for my you YouTube channel? Wow. Thank you. Yeah, this is our last stop of the day. You gotta get save it the best for last, they always say. There you are. Thank yeah. You. No, it's gorgeous. Thank you. I'll open it up. Do okay. You want. I got a YouTube channel. Just Google 2022 uh, 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 Auto Fest Saturday. Okay. Saturday show and you'll see it. You built this? No, I bought it like this. Did you? But I promised the lady I bought it from it was built for her, his wife, his, her husband built it for her. That's why it's Betty Boo. Betty, Betty Boo. Yeah, he built seven cars and I told her I would take good care of it. And I'm doing it. You know what, it doesn't matter if you build it or not, you own it and it looks it's great. But it, it's the shape, the body, the lines, pinstriping. I like things that are overdone. Yeah. And this is, this is me. Over, yeah. It's overdone. I like it too. I, you know, I like it. I always say when I see cars, that have like this different striping on it. I always say, you, whether I like it or not, it's I, 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 I always say, you can't dispute the quality of the build. Yes. Because I mean, that's this is not like just someone threw some dirt no, and made no, a stripe. No, it's, no, no. no, that's this work. Is all, this is all been. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thickness all oh, the way yeah, across. The way. Somebody did a good job and worked hard at this. I know the painter. I've talked to him on the phone. Because yeah, yeah. I had some touch-up work done. He was able to give me all the colors and everything I needed. I got the number to the painter. I got the number to the builder. Yeah, yeah. I got everybody's phone number. That's what you need, because this is the not... The builder, I couldn't fix the air conditioning. He told me where to go and look, and it was that. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, what the hell? You yeah. know? Yeah. So it's been it's been nice. Yeah, you got it insured with Haggerty, do you? No, actually, they wouldn't insure it. Because I'm wondering what the value would be on this for oh, insurance well, reasons. what happened. Why would they insure it? Because me and my wife, we were down to one driver. Oh, yes. It was COVID. Yes. And I had one car. We sold one. We said, we're not. She wasn't working. She worked yeah. in a restaurant. We don't need it. And then they wouldn't insure it because they said, you, you were going to use it as a daily driver. This? Yeah. And I said, you guys are nuts. So Frankenmuth took me in. Frankenmuth yeah. Insurance. Yeah. But then they said... We're not going to insure it until you get it appraised. Oh, yeah. Well, I went to get it appraised, and I was pissed. And I went to get it appraised, and the guy who appraised it, he was around it for 40 minutes. He looked at my book. Yeah. He looked at everything. He goes, I can't find a 42 in the book to look it up. There's no, it doesn't exist. Yeah. So he goes, I'll give you 65 grand when he was done. I bought it for 37. He goes, I'll give you 65 grand. And I said, what? I said, what did it appraise for? He said, 95 low, 125 oh, wow. high. And I was like, I went home and I told my wife, I said, I knew the lady was giving it to me to take care of. Right. Yeah, you got to keep it. You can't and just flip I it. Won't, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Yeah, that wouldn't be right. This is mine. I send her. I just sent her some pictures. I send her pictures in Buffalo, New York, and she's happy, you know. Yeah, it's the bomb. I mean, like this, even this in the door, you know, that's right. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Look at Why would you do this? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. On both sides. And there was like, I was cleaning it up. When I got it home, I found this. Yeah. But it was filthy. And I was cleaning the inside the fender wells. And I didn't know there was a Ford emblem on both sides. Oh, cool. So you're trying to clean that off or something. Yeah, I cleaned it off. And I told my wife, come over here. We didn't even see these. Oh, you know. Cool. Yeah, I got to see that motor, man. That's crazy. Put it up on the hoist. It was beautiful after cleaning. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I Look get... at all the etching he had done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see up here? Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Oh, yeah. Now, is this out of... Where is this out of that Detroit area? Pardon me? Where is this out of Detroit? I area? live in Southgate. Oh, damn. Down river. But yeah. I'm moving. And 
the end of the month to Gaylord. Oh, are you? Yes. Yeah, I've been down to the Down River Car Cruise down there back when it actually was, you know, sanctioned, but it's still pretty neat down there over by Southgate Ford and that. Yes. There used to be a Kmart store that's closed, I think, now. Yeah, but yeah. You used to sit there and watch there. Now. Yeah, but I yeah. I know your turf, man. I, yeah. Well, I lived in Detroit two years way back when. I but grew up in Southgate. Did I've been you? there all my life, and now I'm moving to Gaylord. So. Wow, well, you know what? It's going to be a whole big, a big shame difference. because Southgate, and I, I, I was looking at a car in Wyandotte, in Lincoln Park, that yeah. you're in that whole I'm south end there. area, and that's a whole. It's kind of funny, is that area is such a, like a different world than it's like it, than like over by Woodward. It's yeah. like a different vibe. It is. It's a, that's like a blue collar working vibe in yeah. Southgate area. Yeah. Uh, and it, and like I lived in Warren at one time in my life in Livonia, so I kind of know the turfs, and it's like. Yeah, you're going to experience a whole lot of difference in Gaylord, but well, you're going to enjoy it. Did, because we're in a place called Mishaway. Okay.